Jamaat that are confused, you know, they, they, they either aren't following what Abuji has told them or they're not on the path because Abuji, with the path that he's given us, it's when you follow everything back to back, it keeps you at, at a certain level where not, you're not going to get confused. But as soon as you got to sort of derail yourself, you go into the cities and live with the coffers and things and that, and you, you know, hang out with the regular folk and then you start to get, you know, you, Miss the line and stuff, then that's where all the confusion comes from. So, so when you, before you say that you're confused, first step is go make your salat. When was the last time you made five salat in Jamaat and made your Jummah or read Holy Quran? When was the last time you did zikr? When was the last time you picked up an Islamic book and read it? Meanwhile, you, you, have, you have no knowledge of Islam and you hear, you hear basically questions like if, if, I'm, if I'm teaching math, you know, you're, you're asking. You're a student of grade two, you know, you're doing pluses and minuses. You're asking for the Pyth Pythagoras theorem, and you're, you can't understand it. So thus, therefore, you can't understand it. That means it's false because the people weren't, or were unable to explain to you. The reason why you were unexplained, when you were unable to understand the Pythagoras theorem was because you're in grade two, bro. Go to grade three, four, five, finish your grades, and then if, if the teacher sees that you're at the level where you could understand the Pythagoras theorem, then he, the teacher will teach you that whole theory. But if you're unable to understand it, then just leave it. Understand this is higher knowledge, and just leave it. Be, be as you are. So this kutba is basically, I, I already wanted the other two here to, because I want everybody to hear this. Uh, you know, it's to make sure to correct your bearings, correct your intentions, and after you correct your intentions, Try to maintain those good intentions and do not let doubt creep into your heart. Though I can't stop people from criticizing certain things which will come before them because they're ignorant people. It's just like a person who doesn't know anything about mathematics, who's not even qualified to sit to the first grade of a, you know, a simple mathematics. And if he told something about Einstein and his theories or any advanced mathematics, if he started criticizing, then he's a fool. There are certain things which are not meant for. The food for a grown-up man is not meant for a baby. You give it to the baby, the baby will die of, uh, you know, diarrhea or cholera or uh, some stomach disorder. Similarly, this is the situation here. If you do not know any Sharia, if you do not know knowledge of deen you do not have, you are not practiced, and uh, then you have no right to criticize this whole thing, then you should prepare yourself, prepare yourself to, you know, enable yourself to understand all that by following certain, you know, way, and acquiring at least knowledge, sharia, and tariqah. And after tariqah you will understand, for instance, last summer, one uh, Qadri Sheikh, he recited uh, one of the kalam of his Ghawsal Azam Abdul Qadir Gilani, my ancestor, who, about whom, as if we say, these are one of those unique beings like Khidr al-Islam, uh, including the Holy Messenger, who existed before the existence. It is in Bible of Barnabas, Jews and Amari confirm this. He said, I have met the Holy Last Messenger. So there were noble souls, which also included the Ghawsal Abdul Ghazilani, and five members of Ahlul Bayt, you know, and Rasulullah of course. And then they were sent here. So Rasulullah is the one in whose person Allah Ta'ala revealed this science al-man, al al insaniyah and made him a perfect model of, uh, you know, a perfection, al-insan al-kamal, and opened a way for us to achieve the perfection by, through him, entering the realm of al al muhammadiyah you know, where divinity, Allah's, you know, you know, divine nur, come and join with the, the 
person who had found an elation and ascension, where they join like us, I'll explain. In the state, thing is, when he recited, when it is the man recited Qadri Sheikh, some kalam of Sheikh Abdul Qajilani, so many people, enemies of the Tariqa and Walayat and the miracles, stood up, said, this is nonsense. This is not possible that a man could be, you know, could do something even when he's not born. The, the fact is that he was, like other people, still, you know, allowed to function even before he appeared physically. So that's why he said, that's why he said in his kalam that uh, he said, whosoever, he said that anybody who wished to, you know, anybody who loves us, that person should join us and enter the premises of the Sadat, descendant of Ahlul Bayt, and he will get abundant there. He say, my enemy says that I have stopped praying, but they do not know. I offer my prayer in Kabatullah. You understand? Same thing. I mean, he, he used to sit there and uh, at the Asr time in Baghdad. So he would, he's there, but he leaves his body. He again reappears in physical in Kabatullah, makes lot and come back. And people see him, say he's sitting there. He says, he'll make a lot. He see himself. And we do, we know people do it. It is very common. People make a lot there. The body's here. And they get another body. And he said, no, no, it's not like that. They don't make a lot. They do make a lot. But they make a lot there. He says, O oh my Murids, received good tidings of happiness and remained faithful to me. I shall help you know, those who have stuck by sorrows and affliction with. O oh my Murids, he said, Hold my skirt. I don't say skirt, hold my you know, end of shirt, hem. You know? and remain steadfast in your Iman and with me so that I could help you in this world and on the day last day. I am the guardian of my Murid. And whatever scares fears him, I'll rid him of the evils and hardship, you know, and the problems. Oh, my Murid, remain committed to our commitment to your commitments. I will shall be I shall be present on the day when the deed will be weighed. He says, I was with Nura Muhammad sallam, when he went from Miraj. This is what is about it. He said when Rasul went from Miraj, I, I was there. Particularly on the one where Kaaba Khausan when they were two together. We have meeting place of the lovers. Again, he says, I was with Nu alayhi salam. I was seeing all the floods and you know all what was happening to the creation. I was with Ibrahim alayhi salam when he was thrown in the fire by Nimrud. He goes on, you know, and I go to my Ibrahim, and I go to my Rail Yabir, and I go to my Yaqub, and I go to my Idris, and I go to my Musa, and I go to my Yub, and I go to my Isa. So, what is this? It baffles people, you know. It baffles people. It baffles people. But it should not. Since I tell you that there are, there were, and there are, there shall be. Blessed beings of Allah, with blessed, you know, unique Munfridun who existed before existence and who shall keep on existing even after that. 
غوصل عبد القادر جیلانی سلطان محی الدین واز ون اف دیم سو ہی ون دیر یو نو ون میرا ٹو پلیئر اینڈ اٹ از آلسو زیڈ اٹ آلسو زیڈ ون جبرائی علیہ السلام ریچ دا اٹر ہائر موسٹ پلیس آف یو نو دیٹ there he stopped he said beyond that before unclear word of allah you must take if i take one step my my whole body will burn at that time the spirituality of allah enabled the spirituality of apostle abdul qadirani and said he went with them now if you will not believe you may not believe but i say that there were people present living before you know creation the proof is i say is holy quran as well in which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that allah took out the souls of children of adam and made them stand before them and ask them am i not your lord am i not your rab allah stobi rabbikum qalu bala they said yes what this happened we were alive all of you all of you are living in a world called you know pre eternal uh, i'm sorry a world before existence called barzakh awwal i have explained it please is the first i explain it am i right so i'm referring that adding this point that you know that uh, some people were chosen and they would do come to this world and do work help people in need or do whatever they told them because gosalazm was called and he would come and do it and go back till the time when he appeared and then he came there's a difference to his different level of existence you understand so i had to remove this doubt because his books are being printed and the very people are translating it with very bad translations you know using word gnostic and the saints and all the thing which are killing the real sense and and, and nevertheless it is the age of revival of you know the so esoteric tariqa but remember it is also big conspiracy going on this is the sub of our sufi aspect of islam is being projected as an independent religion a lot of money is being spent even effort was made in pakistan you know people got together you know and they said oh yes we are sufis now in america in england we you see somebody oh yes are oh, yes. oh, you muslim no i'm sufi remember sufi is an aspect of islam the spirit of islam first you have to become muslim understand the law follow it in letter and spirit then go to a sheikh of tariqa and follow him and then something will happen there no such thing as sufism nor anybody can become sufi without following islamic law being good, good muslim in all that thing we person may are high very high but still he will remain a human you know allah may come down allah will remain allah this is we know سبحان ربي رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله شاهدت بأن الله والي الولايات قد منا بتصريفي
Thank you. 